Hello again everybody, welcome to Realm of Vidar's Pokemon channel. My name is Mark, and today Brooke and I will be commentating a match between Erica playing her Gardevoir Xerneas deck, and Eddie playing his Metagross GX deck. But before we jump in, be sure to hit that subscribe button for all the latest videos, and also check us out on Twitter and Facebook. Alrighty, let's get on into this here. Brooke, if you want to say hi. Hi. Hi everybody. Uh, Erica is on the left, and Eddie is on the right here. Kind of, um, kind of some unorthodox decks here. Uh, the Metagross GX is definitely something we haven't seen for a while, and I actually have never seen a Gardevoir Xerneas variant. I'm not like familiar with either of them, to be entirely honest. Yeah, they're um, well, Gardevoir is a popular deck, but I've I just not seen Gardevoir, a Gardevoir. Uh, I just Xerneas the there. yeah, the combination is interesting. All right, looks like uh, we're starting here. Looks. Eddie got a basic. He started off a uh, Beldum there. And it looks like Erica got a Xerneas. So no mulligans from either player here. And I like that they're putting out their prizes nice and clean. That makes it very, very easy. The see. very few that actually do. <laughs> we didn't seem stacked. And look at Eddie being nice there, holding out his hand like, hey, look at this here. Nice friendly handshake. For the record, I like these maps that they have. By oh, the way, yeah. I, I love the maths that they use. They're just very clean. Yes, yes they are. All right, I think uh, I think Eddie's going to start here. Ooh. And he looks like he put down an alternate Cosmo. That's so shiny, I can barely it's see like, it. It's like, that thing is gorgeous. <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks like he's going to go Bridget. We're probably going to see two Beldum here. And maybe a Vulpix if he, if he has it in the deck. Oh, I love Vulpix. Or maybe, yes, the Beacon. Looking for bacon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a good. And if uh, Eddie has a float stone there for you know next turn, he can definitely get that beacon ability off, which uh, allows you to search for any two Pokemon and put them into your hand. Oh, that's a, it's a very very good card. Okay. Looks like Choice Band, Ultra Ball, Rare Candy, a Psychic Energy. Stand there, and it looks like Erica has a Guzma, a Super Rod, a Rare Candy, a Cynthia, a definitely an fairy, energy in there, a Fairy Energy, and maybe an Ultra Ball there towards the end, or maybe another. Support. It's hard to tell. Yeah, it is hard to tell a little bit here. Okay, that's half the fun. <laughs> yeah, but he's just going to go ahead and retreat straight into that Volpix, and we'll probably see a pass here. Yep, and Erica has a draw. All right, going to go ahead and put down a Rolts. You know, ultra ball here. We um, we may see a Bridget here, Lele Bridget, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, there goes a Guzma and a Super Rod. Wow, um, she must run multiple Super Rods in the deck, I assume. You would think, because yeah. otherwise I wouldn't really be so willing to get rid of it. Yeah, Super Rod is a good late game card. It gets some energies back in there, some basics, even some evolution Pokemon. And it looks like she did go for the Lele Bridget here. Oh, okay, she runs uh, Rumor Aiden here. So she's got Octillery in the deck, which I do believe I've seen an Octillery. So yeah, I think good. I saw that too. I love Octillery. I know he's ridiculous, but I have a thing about him. He's an octopus. He's awesome. <laughs> Oct octopuses are great. <laughs> I just like him. I, you know, I played around with him, and oh, uh, I just like, I like using him. All right, looks like she went for a Remoraid, a Rolts, and another Deer. We are full bench. She is, yeah. Both players getting off to a very nice start with Bridget's. I'm impressed. I've seen these things start kind of slow before, but we are going mm -hmm. full, full throttle here. And Bridget does that. Um, something that to be aware of is Erica's Pokemon are weak to steel. Oh. So she, we're gonna have to probably play around, uh, play around the weakness with Gardevoir. We're probably gonna see the deer come down quite a bit, mm. but she might use the deer just to Geomancy to accelerate energy to her rolls, which isn't bad. I've not seen that done. That's really smart. That's a that's a really good deck concept. I like it. I say we definitely don't see enough women players. I think. Hey. Give them some credit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like, you know, I think there was a, um, I feel bad for not remembering her name, but she uh, she did really well at the Roanoke Regional. 
mm-hmm. I can't think of her name right now, but yeah, she uh, she was in the high tables there for a while. So it's definitely always you know seeing the, the women players come in here. It's always great. Then we're going to see a pass after a geomancy here, and it looks like Eddie drew a energy and a ultra ball way a psychic energy and a choice man. Hmm. Well, um, just in case you, have, you guys are not familiar with what uh, Metagross does. It has a geotech system and allows you to attach a metal or a psychic energy to your Pokemon from the discard. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah, that's why that he's putting energy sense, yeah. Yep. And we're probably going to see, what's crazy enough, we're probably going to see a beacon for a another Metagross and maybe a Lele if he has it here. That way he can get another Metagross online. Yep, and if he has another, yep, right away. All right, nice, sweet, short turn from Eddie. And uh, Erica's going to want to have to follow up with an in, but she plays the Cynthia instead. And she probably didn't have it in her hand there. Familiarize me. What does Cynthia do? Uh, Cynthia shuffles your hand into the deck, and you draw six new cards. Okay. Yep. It's going to kind of be one of the bigger draw supporters as the uh, rotation hits here. Yeah, so I'm very familiar with N, but not with Cynthia in particular. Mm-hmm. I've seen her, but I could not remember off the top of my head what she did. Yeah, yeah she, she's newer. <laughs> I know you're uh, you're more early on in the Sun and Moon set. Yeah, it's been a little while. I've been kind of out of the game. Mm-hmm. I will okay. always love my low and nine tails, though. Oh, yes, cannot, it's beautiful. Cannot convince me otherwise. <laughs> oh, wow. And she did get the Octillery down. That is great. So yeah. she is what we call in-proofed. So, Octillery. I can't see what's in her hand, what she drew, but... Maybe we'll see another fairy energy come down. I used to have an octillery taped to my computer. <laughs> not obviously the card in the sleeve, because I'm not ridiculous, but so. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the abyssal hand one was taped there. And it looks like she drew um, off the abyssal hand there, and she got an in, I think. Man, if she had that earlier, that would have been really, really good. Hmm. Coulda, woulda, shoulda, right? Yep, that's, that's the name at. of the game. And we're <laughs> oh, going to see a Geomancy, and it is just going crazy here. Just attaching energies left and right to all these Pokemon. I love the fairy energies. I'm not even like a huge fan of pink, but they just look really nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they show they on the camera really well. They do. She has uh, the hollows, the hollow rare ones. They're so pretty. My hollow rare, hollows, I apologize. Someone's right. been thinking about Yu-Gi-Oh too much. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And we're going to see another pass here. These decks definitely getting off to a slow start. You don't want to get Metagross ramping here because uh, once it gets a two, two Metagrosses and it's almost over because of the energy acceleration. Well, we're going to have some hard choices to make here then. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going to see him put that rare can down and then say, here comes Metagross number two. Oh, no. And once he have a Sycamore in his hand, he's probably just going to Sycamore. He top deck a Sycamore after grabbing the Lele. Mm. Okay, he is going to go ahead and go in here. What's he going to grab? He's going to grab a, what is that, a Guzma? That's what I'm trying to see. Yeah. yeah I'm going to grab a Guzma. So maybe Your he, boy. Um, <laughs> maybe he has an idea here. Maybe he's going to beacon one more time and, uh, Maybe Guzma up something that uh, gets stuck in her active or something along those lines. Maybe just go for a stall play here. Yep. Oh, okay, yeah, I see what he's doing. He's going to bring that Lele up and that Ralts and Geotech twice. And we're going to see that Ralts go. That was a really good move by Eddie there. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, man, he got another Lele. In his oh, hand lucky the him. Oh, man, yeah, he is... <laughs> Really up there that doing. definitely would have came back to bite him later. <laughs> yeah, Erica really, um, really is trying to get a Gardevoir set up here. Um, that Ralts would have been so easy if it, it grew up to be a Gardevoir there. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, probably just uh, thinking what to promote. We're going to promote the Ralts, okay. Well, she does have a candy in her hand. That is good news. So we're definitely probably going to see a Gardevoir GX come down this turn. And, um, yep. I'm going to grab the, use the stretcher to put the Ralts back down on the bench. 
Oh goodness. Where are we going? Okay, put the energy down there. Now, Gardevoir actually has a energy acceleration as well. It has secret springs, which allows you to attach a fairy energy. So. Yeah, it took a minute to process there. Yeah, I, it's been a while since I've messed with Gardevoir. I'm like, I'm better with the pictures and the names. That's usually my problem. And I'm like, which one's Gardevoir again? I'm like, yeah. I know, I know what's up. <laughs> she definitely uh, she definitely wanted to think this play out here because, okay, she's going to Guzma. Maybe uh, targeting down the Beldum? Let's see. Ah, no, putting up the Ultron across. Okay. Where do you think we're going from here? It's a question. And I'm just wondering, okay, did she did she not Abyssal hand that turn? I don't think she did. Maybe she had too many cards in her hand there. Alright, gonna see another Geomancy attach more basic energy. Those uh those oh, rolls the are, energies. Man, that rolls <laughs> is getting scary. All she needs is to get that, that Gardevoir going with that rare candy and she'll definitely be in business here. It's always unfortunate when you've got the good energy build up and you just can't seem to draw. Well, that is the, the power of, <laughs> of Xerneas. The, just the deck, the pure deck itself. Mm -hmm. It's all the energy it accelerates with the break, having to hit a, a bunch of damage with the amount of energy you have attached. Yeah, I'm just concerned that she's prized something that she needs. Um, I think I th she's probably, I would assume she's prized some DCEs as well. Because um, I haven't seen a single DC come down. I have not either. Actually, now that you say that, I didn't even think about it. Yeah, I haven't seen any either. So, it it's, looks like... It's a possibility. It's a decent possibility. It looks like Eddie's got a steel energy in there, so we may be seeing a photon geyser here on this deer. Are we going to see some action? <laughs> yep. All right. Attaching a steel energy there. Probably going to geotech system two psychic energies and just take a knockout. He's definitely contemplating. Yeah, I don't think there's um, really too much else. And he passed. Okay. Maybe he didn't have the psychic in his discard, but I... Oh, no, that's right. He put the two psychic energies on his Lele there. That's right. Okay, here we go. Here comes Rare Candy. Just checking. Yep, making sure she puts that down. And there is Yeah, you got to double Lord check GX. in here. <laughs> that makes sense there. I missed that. Uh, he has his energies a little stacked up on that lady there, folks. I apologize. Yes, he put those two on there, and then uh, it got swapped out. So Yeah, that's what Guzman does. It's hiding back there a little. She's sitting on those energies. Seems like uh, a waste. Yeah, um, well, it worked out good with the Ralts there, but now he's kind of... Well, yeah, I just mean now that he's he's back there with it, it seems like a you know a little bit of a waste of the energy. Not that he had much of a choice. Yeah, knock it out, but you want to know, I'm telling you, Guardi, it's hard to knock out 230 hit points. She is no yeah, joke. Yeah, it's just unfortunate for him yeah. that she rescued Stretcher, and it didn't even really matter. <laughs> and, the, you know, the energy is always a, always a hit. But yeah, the inner acceleration of both of these decks are very, very superb. Five new cards, and it looks like in Max Potion, Beldum, Psychic, and a Skyla. Wow, that is a really good five cards there for Eddie. I can't see exactly what Erica had, but she's playing Pow Pad down. Gonna head put her two Guzmas probably back in there. Yes, she is. Nothing like a Guzma. Yep. <laughs> and there we go. That her deck is. Uh, she's well halfway through that deck already too. I can't tell with the angle how far you think he is. It doesn't look like he's that deep. Well, it looks like um, Eddie's been through some of his deck, but uh, Erica definitely has been through most of her deck, a good chunk of it. So yeah, it's just it's hard to tell mm -hmm. <laughs> from the, this angle. All right, and there comes a curlier down on that. That is good. Hey, there. There's the card we were talking about. <laughs> Secret Spring. All right. What are we going to see here? Yes, and um, Alshner Crosma is weak to Fairy. She's going to go ahead and discard that DC, and there's uh, the first DC we've seen from Erica. 
So she's going to take two Let's prizes. See, I'm trying there. to see what she grabbed out of there. Ah, okay. Looks like Those maybe a Rolls and a Field Blower, perhaps. Well, if it's a Rolls, it's good. <laughs> yeah, she's bringing her Never prizes up there. Rolls. I mean, that, you know, it went from 6.5 to 4.5. It was a nice exchange. Mm hmm. Pokemon's quick. It's it never, is. There's never a true advantage. I mean, like I said, Eddie hits her for uh, for weakness, but she hit weakness on that alternate Cosmo, too. So It's not over till it's over. That's right. <laughs> it never or is. Till the fat lady sings, as they say. <laughs> Somebody oh, says yeah. it somewhere. I've heard it. Don't, don't roll your eyes at me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. We're going to see just a manual attachment here. The card is so shiny. Which, oh, the, the Metagross. I'm like, I'm blind. <laughs> yeah, there's some pretty shiny cards out here. And uh, Eddie end here. And that doesn't really hurt Eddie. I was going to say, I don't know if he's doing uh, a favor here or not. <laughs> well, he, he may have. Um, yeah, he definitely, got, he definitely looks like he has more of his deck still. Yeah, for sure. Eddie hasn't been through no nowhere near as much. I mean, but he's got a nice board set up. Um... And it really, the end doesn't hurt Erica too bad because the Octillery is still on the bench there. All right, what are we going to see now? And then he's going to grab five. I, it almost looks like he got the exact same hand just with another Max Potion. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's looking at it like, hmm. Yeah, not and that's the, that's what Ann and Cynthia does to you when you shelf your deck back in. Trying to check out what she's got, but I can't tell. I'll have to wait and see. Okay, yeah, it's making sure he uh, already attached for turn there. Probably just thinking, what to do? What am I going to do? My energy is sitting on this lele. I need to get this thing into the active, or at least get them energy in the discard. Got to do something with it. For sure. I love Lele, but when you're stuck like this, it's like, what do you do? Oh, man. We are going to see an Algorithm GX. And this GX yeah. is insane. Fill me in. Yeah. Any five cards you want from your deck, put them into your hand. Seriously? Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, that's what the Metagross does. <laughs> okay. It is a good GX. So if uh, Eric is definitely going to be like, I need to find in. <laughs> so, because she knows he is getting what he needs. He's yeah, definitely going to get. There is nothing. I mean, I understand why that's a GX move. It makes entire sense. But it's, here's here's your thing. Cards you need. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Just throw them out. And like, that's, I, um, my mind is blown. He's definitely probably got <laughs> the way to put some energy in the, uh, in the discard here. Let's hope that uh, he gets what he needs and this GX was worth using right oh, now. Because sure. they're, what are we, not quite 20 minutes in. They're, they're both built pretty good so far. It, but if he, can't, game. if he can't pull out what he needs here, that seems kind of like a waste. Mm -hmm. And uh, Erica has that premonition ability now from the Gallade set up without Octillery. And that is nasty. Uh, just in case you're not familiar with that. Or anybody watching, the premonition allows you to look up seven cards on top of your deck, put them in any order you want, and put them back down. Oh well, that could that could set you up pretty good for the next few turns, depending on how your draw power is. Well, also uh, she has artillery, so yeah, she's that's what like, I'm thinking. Like with artillery, that's even better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just always assume that I don't know. <laughs> I don't mind the refreshers. Well, it helps. It helps the viewers as well. All right, is, are we going? We are. Gonna see. She has Professor's Letter in the deck. That is awesome. One of my favorite cards. Of course, I play Folk. So, Ooh. does she have any more energies in there? <clears throat> but yes, I realize it's helpful for the viewers, but I'm just assuming they know more than I do. <laughs> right. Very understandable. Very understandable. <laughs> and, uh, Giving them the benefit of the doubt. Erica has that uh, <laughs> Twilight GX still here. She's probably just debating what to do. Look at that. She looks like Look she might is. be out of energy. I didn't see any other DCEs in there as well. She, she's probably prized at least two. That is not good. <laughs> it's not, not what you want to see with, with Gardevoir. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, it looks like she's got the guard of war pretty set up. Yeah, it is. Um, right now. The attack infinite force uh, does 30 times the amount of energy on your Pokemon and your opponents. Well, yeah. It's really good, yeah. Infinite force is a great move. So she's just given some fall, probably like, man, I really need a fairy energy here. Giving it some thought. Um, yep, and we're okay. Well, she's gonna Guzma up that that Lele there. Interesting. Okay, she's choosing to put the the Gallade up there. Even if she knocks out the Lele, which she obviously did not. But you know, even when she does, wow. if she does, assuming that she does, it's still really doing him a favor because that Lele has just been sitting there with that energy on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gotta really pick and choose your battles. And Eddie's just gonna be able to retreat this Lele for one energy. And he's definitely, with that algorithm, he's definitely got some energies he's gonna be able to put in the discard here. And he yeah, has. Yeah, he's got one in his hand already. Yep, and here comes the. Okay, here comes the Guzma. I'm surprised uh, Eddie didn't, like, detach from Lele and try to set up some little shenanigans there, but that's all right. You know, sometimes you get that focus and you're like, this is exactly what I need to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, he still did it you just get, fine. You get a little sidetracked. <laughs> he definitely still did it fine there. Well, no, uh -huh. I'm not I'm not disagreeing at all. Max Stay. potion. Oh, wow. That's right. He had the max potion in his hand, so he got them energy oh, in the well. discard anyway. See? Yeah. See? Don't doubt. He's mm -hmm. got it. Oh, he's got it. <laughs> Yeah, and he's going to just knock that card Oh, out. that is not good for her. No, unfortunately it's not. Not good. Mm. Let's what see. What is she going to be able to do here? She's going to have to try probably just knocking out those Beldums and those Vulpixes. Or the Beldum and the Vulpix there. I'm on, yeah, on I'm surprised she didn't go for one of those sooner instead of the Lele. Just to, you know... Try to get something going. Hmm, she drew another artillery here. Well, her other artillery. Mm -hmm. And here comes Lele. Let's, Let's see what she's going to surge. Definitely some contemplation going in here. Yeah, she's uh he's, well, I mean, she's at four, he's at three, but her board state is nowhere near what it could be, especially after losing that, uh, yeah, that guard of war was a big hit. Yeah. Yeah, missing that in there when he uh, algorithm was. Yeah, they have both done really well. Honestly, mm -hmm. up to this point, he just he happened to swing and hit with that guard of war, and it's really it's really hurt her. Mm -hmm. All right, she's playing in. She's gonna draw uh, four cards here, and Eddie's gonna draw three. Let's see, and uh, Erica still has that premonition and that abyssal hand. All right, let's see what our players get here. Wow, and uh, looks like Eddie got some energy and a choice man. <clears throat> That's pretty much all this deck is gonna need. Is just energy for the rest of the game because it's it's all set up now. Yeah, he's pretty much got everything he needs. Just throw some energy on it and swing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see if she can pull something out of her hat here. Well, okay. she still has the Gallade. I guess my biggest concern, uh, as I was saying earlier, is if she pries something yeah, that she's like really she... going to need because we're, we're not seeing as much as I thought we would. It looks like she passed there, and Eddie drew another energy for turn. Oh, of course he did. And he's just going to bring <sighs> up that other Metagross by retreating. And uh, probably just going to attach. Maybe not attach from hand there. Yeah, just put those on there. I mean, he might just attach to a bench as well. He's spreading the love. Yep. Spread that's what, Meta, that's what Metagross love. does. <laughs> do what you got to do. Did he, uh, oh, he doesn't have a choice, man, so he's only going to be able to hit for, uh, 150 here. Actually, Erica has a good chance of coming back here. Um. 
No, I fully believe she can just get. <laughs> she can just get what she needs here. Because uh, she knows that Eddie doesn't have too much in his hand. I mean, I'm sure she's still fearful of Max Potion, but if she can get some damage on a Metagross and he retreats it and she can Guzma, she'll be able to knock out another Metagross, that Metagross, if he can't Max Potion it. It's so very let's, true. Let's see what she does. I'm going to go ahead and retreat. Bring up the deer. Hmm. Alright. Well, we have a pause here. I like her green sleeves. <laughs> with, like that green. Pink, with that pink, it makes me think of watermelon for some reason through summertime. <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous, but. <laughs> hey, it's alright. <laughs> it kind of does, though. And she, I mean, she I like it. She doesn't hate me for saying that, but I, I do I like the Ooh. color combination. It's, uh, this isn't <laughs> good here. It looks like she went ahead and passed again. And uh, he's just attaching some energy there. We might see just a. Uh, now, if he's just going to go straight for the knockout, yeah. This is yeah. like the time we need some sound effects. Yeah, kapow. Bang. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh. <laughs> oh, she. Is that uh, Diantha? Oh, man. Heck yeah. That's. Uh, I'm sure she's like, thank you. I need some energy out of my discard here. Um. Probably wishing she didn't ditch that super rod so early, but there probably there wasn't much she could do. She had to get set up. Yeah, I definitely haven't seen another one. Yep, and there she goes. So, fill me in. Yep, uh, she can that. grab mm -hmm. any two cards, I believe, from the discard if a fairy Pokemon was knocked out. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, um, but I'm pretty sure it's any two. I'll say I'm seeing one, so <laughs> looks one like so she's far. still searching, so I hope it's two. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely going to get the rod back here. And I, I understand why she discarded the rod there. She can get it back with Twilight GX and with Diantha. Yeah, it's kind of one of those things you gotta you got to sacrifice uh, and move forward. <laughs> yeah, and she's going to go ahead and grab that roll, so she's like, three energy, please. Oh, yeah, definitely. And we're going to see her shuffle that in and probably premonition and a pistol hand. <laughs> At this point, why not? Oh yeah, I mean, <laughs> all she's been missing is the uh, the energy here. Okay, well. And there it is. Yep, she's gonna she's Ooh. doing the uh, the old geomancy here. Yep, all Never right. Gets it in there. Let's see, so we've got. Well, to be Tilly, fair, all, all Eddie Tilly. really needs is a, a Guzma. That's all he needs. He just needs Guzma here. So yeah. let's see. Walk me through their boards. Let's see how this is looking here. Well, right now, she's just trying to build up some energy. And there comes Skyla. I don't know oh. if uh, it's going to be able to really get anything. He's just calling for another Metagross there with the rare candy. He's got four Metagross to set up. That is insane. That is almost unstoppable in most cases. I mean, what do you do? They're so beefy. They <laughs> just, you, ma you max potion them, put the energy right back on, and that's it. Yeah, that's that's hard to deal with. Mm -hmm. And they retreat. They retreat three on it. So you retreat, max potion, put a fresh Metagross up, three energy, and just swing. That is that is dirty. I see why people like it. <laughs> yeah, it used to be really good with a card called Teammates, which when one of your Pokemon was knocked out, mm -hmm. you could search for any two cards in your deck and put them into yeah, your hand. Yeah, like you just said, you just retreated and swapped that. So I definitely get it. Yeah. I can see why people like and it. That's it. He has one prize left. Whew. Erica could still, could still do it. It'd take a lot here, but... I say, you never, never doubt till the end. Never know for sure, but... It does look like it's okay. a little one-sided right now. <laughs> All right. We might see something here. I mean, this, this could be the end. I don't want to say it is, but... It's definitely going to... Can't, can't, can't say for sure. can can't say for sure. But uh, it definitely doesn't look good. <laughs> Not looking fantastic. Yeah, she's probably just like, um, when I, I have mean, the infinite force. See, he's I, got such a good setup. Like, that deck really worked for him. Yeah, if you if you give Metagross time to set up, that is that is the scariest thing you could do against it. If you give it three turns and it, they finally got something going, 
all it does is just keep keep going. Yeah. It's like a, like an engine, man. You just keep putting coal in it. <laughs> the little train that could over here. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's more like, like the hunk of steel that was whacked. <laughs> Yeah, I think she's just, uh, she's like, yeah, I don't know if there's really anything I can do. She can try for a DC secret spring, knock the Metagross out, but he's just going to bring another Metagross up. Cross your fingers of hope. <laughs> yeah. But I, I'm pretty sure that we, 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 um, got down that she prized two DCs. I think so. At least. That's, she might have prized even more. Like we could be off. That definitely seems like the case here. Because I've only seen the one. Yeah. And here we go. We're probably going to see a attach here. With uh, probably Secret Spring. And a Choice Man. So she is hitting for 180 right now. Let's see. Yeah. And if, if she attacks here, that's just going to be the game. I'm sure she realized that too. And he's like, well, you know, all I can do is retreat and hit you for weakness. And that's that's going to be the game. And there's a nice yep. for the handshake, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see them prizes. Cynthia Field. Yep, DC. Wow. Yeah, Two that's DCs. just oh, so that fortunate. <laughs> all righty, everybody. Well, I appreciate you watching. Take care and have a good day.